Give me a hand here, Cash. You, you know I will. Splitting our grub stack three ways from now on, Cash. Yeah. I reckon so. What have we got that old fit his gizzard? He came to a turkey. Or oh, you don't know nothing. Well, oatmeal gruel and a mite of bacon grease will see him through. Come on, partner. the boy, Cash? You know I will. Hey, you little rascal, you. Hey, come here. Come here. You, you, you're going to get your shirt on now, Bill. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> Pretty little cuss, ain't it, Jim? He sure is. Yeah. <laughs> Looks just like me. <laughs> Don't you, Bill? <laughs> hmm. There we are. Hey, there we are. Yeah, boy. Oh, dear, boy. Hmm. Bill sure does love me, Jeff. <laughs> Yes, don't be giving that maverick poison. And don't be calling him Bill. Once and for all, Cash Holbrook, we're a-calling him Daniel Boone Cameron. And once and for all, Jeff Cameron, we're a-calling him Buffalo Bill Holbrook. I've put up with your bullheadedness about long enough. Bullheadedness? Me? Why, you hammer-headed old mule. You're as stubborn about branding that yearling as... as you are about wanting to settle down here at this measly water hole. Water means a grub stake in this country, Cash. We're staying right here. No. We ain't. You are. Grub stake's just about as far as you can see. I'm heading west till I hit grazing land. I've put up with your stubbornness ever since we started out, Jeff. Now I'm done with you.
If you're heading west, seems to me you'd best get her going. Now then, I'll take Dan. Bills are going with me. Oh, no, he ain't. He's too smart for you, Holbrook. He's a Cameron, and he knows where he belongs. He's a bit young to know what a pig-headed old hyena you are, Cameron. But I'll learn him. You wouldn't plug Dan, would you, Cameron? And if you was to drill me in the back while I was a right in a way, why, you'd just naturally bust Bill's neck. Watch your ear to the ground. Cattle. Yep. You see, I was right, Mary Ellen. When I seen that big ornery Bill Holbrook riding the ridge this morning, I figured that him and his old man was up to something. Dad, them two are just alike. Meaner and two rattlers. Cash Holbrook ruined the boy, Mary Ellen. He was a likely young one when I found him. Well, Dad, if they think they're going to water cattle here tonight, here's two Winchesters say they ain't. Well, I reckon we ought to turn the herd toward the gap here, Mr. Holbrook. We'll get to the water hole quicker that way. All right, turn it. I'll know more about it tonight, O'Curley. He ain't set foot on Jeff Cameron's land in a good many years. Wouldn't be doing it tonight if this herd wasn't drying up on me. Well, we won't have no trouble. Ain't nobody at the water hole but old Cameron and his daughter. I don't care if there's 50 of them. Cameron ain't keeping me away from that water no longer. Long. My name's Rance Brett. Had to shoot my horse today, prairie dog hole. This is the first water I've seen since. I don't know this country. You don't know Cash Holbrook neither, I suppose. Who? Go ahead, Philip. Thanks, mister.
Well? Who's this uh, Holbrook you're talking about? You never heard of him, I... Miss, I'm from Montana. I'm headed New Mexico way. What was your name in Montana? Brett. Same as here. I'm headed New Mexico way. At least I was. While I had a horse. Seems like I'd step into something here, mister. Might be you'd care to enlighten me, what? Cameron's my name. Jeff Cameron. My daughter, Mary Ellen. I'm honored to know you, Miss Cap. This here's my living. The only water hole between the range and the railroad. Cowmen all water here on the way to the loading pen. All but one. This uh, old good fellow? Yeah. I make him go the long way for water. 27 miles across the desert, losing beef every mile. Why? Got a match? I got married and settled down here. He kept on persecuting me. Well, it wasn't a month after her ma died, he tried to stampede me in the cellar. It began right here, and it's liable to end right here, tonight. Meaning what? Meaning this. Miss, do you aim to take a hand? I do if a whole brook crosses our line. Well, the odds ain't with you. Perhaps it'd even them up a little if I might offer to throw in with you folks. Thanks, just the same. Well, put it this way. Maybe I could work it out around here long enough to get me a horse. Starting the night. They're coming. Throw a saddle into one of them broncs and we ride out to meet them. Good enough. They won't get in here tonight. They're getting mighty uneasy. We'll have to start any minute now. with him right here. Mary Ellen, you get behind them rocks. Brett, you hold down the other side of that wash. I'll stay here. Don't take no chances with yourself now. Cameron's got men, I help him. They're stampeding the herd away from the water hole. What happened? 
I'll tell you what's happened. They're not Holbrook's cattle at all. But Holbrook's got men running off stock and being drove to my water. He's trying to break them. have been worse. We only lost a few heads. Jeff Cameron declared war on me when he drove them cattle off tonight. Before it's over, I'll drive him out of the country. Wonder who those men was uh, helping him. I'll find that out, too. When I do, take it easy. I ran that herd out of there tonight, Dad. You ran that herd off. What's back of all this, son? I'll tell you, Dad. I ran those cattle off to keep you and Jeff Cameron from killing each other. Hmm. And who appointed you to be my guardian angel? You and Jeff split over me, Dad. Tonight when I learned you was going to tangle, I had to stop it. Yeah. And make a fool out of me right in front of him to say nothing to the cattle lost. Dad, you and Jeff have shared your last flapjack once. Since then, you've wasted all those years hating each other. But it's not too late. I've got something to show you. You see that? Hmm. Well, what is it? What about it? That is tungsten ore. There might be a little gold and silver in it, too. But the tungsten's what counts. And I've located a rich deposit of it. But there's a catch to it. Just what are you driving at? Well, the man that owns the land that this is on doesn't even know it's there. If he did, he couldn't mine it. He's broke. You've got the money, and I know how to run a mine. You can help him. And he was once your friend. Now, do you know who I mean? You mean Jeff Cameron? Jeff Cameron. He needs your help, Dad. He's old, and he's getting tired. He'll give in if you'll let him. Did I hear right? You want me to make up to him? I think it's about time you did, Dad. I raised you single-handed and alone. I sent you to mining school when you ought to have been punching cows. Right. I always let you have your say. Most always your own way. But I'll see you eternally in fire and brimstone before I let you stand up there and tell me to be friend to Jeff Cameron. I didn't tell you, Dad. I asked you. Man sure gets punishment for his mistakes. When I picked you up on the desert, I made mine. I don't know what kind of blood you got in you. But I know it ain't my kind. 
I'll say good night to you on that. And when I get up in the morning, I don't think you better be here. You and Jeff have spent half your lives building a wall that separates you. When you should have been friends. But someday, I'll break it down. Goodbye, Dad. Afternoon, Miss Mary. You stay where you are, Bill Holbrook. Is your father in? I'd like to uh, talk to him. You must be craving trouble to come here after what you've done last night. Last night? Don't try to brazen it out. I saw you and your hands run them cattle off. You must feel mighty proud of yourself, taking away our living. You'll excuse me now. I'll go in and talk to your father. You'll not set foot on our lap. I'll take care of him, Mary Ellen. You ride over and get a hold of Rance Brett. He's stringing new wire up at the gap. What are you doing here? Mr. Cameron, I'd like to have a little talk with you. I ain't got nothing to talk to you about. You will have when you've heard what I've got to say. Your threats don't bother me none. Get on inside. talking and talk mighty carefully. Hi there! Mary Ellen! Hello there, Tony Pa. Hey, come on. Here's your trope. See who's waiting for you. Look who's waiting to see you, dog. Find you. Come on. Well, Mary Ellen, why, you're getting prettier every day. How's old heliotrope? Oh, lazy in the deuce. Where are you from this time, Tony Paul? Uh, turned to Basin. My gosh, I put near dried up and blowed away. <laughs> where, where are you running off to? Oh, Dad's got that Bill Holbrook inside, and I'm going to go over and... Bill Holbrook? Yeah. Oh, doggone it. I knowed I had some news for you. Uh, listen, listen to this. I came by Holbrook's this morning, and, uh, well, well sir, I, there ain't been a ruckus like that around here, uh, like they had in years. And I, I, I went up and, and I, if, if you, if, uh, d d doggone it, maybe I better begin at the beginning, huh? Yeah. Well? On my land, and takes my water to mine it. That's right. Well? I made out alone a good many years. And I ain't taken a Holbrook for a partner just yet. If you can borrow money at the bank to mine this stuff, so can I. Yes, you can, Jeff. Say, how come you have to borrow money?
Have you fought with Cash, Holbrook? With Cash? After what he's done for me? No, but he's fought with you. Ain't that it? I know it. Cash wouldn't have no truck with me. No more than I would with him. But he's on the outs with you over that. Jeff, Cash thinks he's right in hating you. Just the same as you think you're right in hating him. But you're both dead wrong. I've told him that. Now I'm telling you. And someday I'll make you both believe it. Never. Don't you try it. I'll never stop. Might as well. That stuff can lay on the ground till Judgment Day, before I have dealings with a Holbrook. Well, that's what I am. Hold on. By the eternal, you ain't. You're a Cameron, by rights. I found you. You pointed me out to be your pa right here at this water hole years ago. Did I, Jeff? You sure did. And I know I'd get you back someday. You belong right here. I'll throw in with you, Bill. I, I'm, I mean Dan. Water and all. Give me that stuff. So you see, Mary Ellen, in doing what he allowed was right about them kettle, he riled Cash Holbrook into throwing him out of the house. Well, I've got to be in town a few days, but we'll break ground in about a week. When Cash Holbrook hears about this, he'll have to be hogtied. <laughs> in about a week. Good luck. <laughs> well, Jeff, doggone you, I'm glad to see you. How be you? Oh, Tony Pa. <laughs> Say, uh, Bill Holbrook uh, uh, was over here, and you and him seem to be kind of friendly, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you bet we're friendly. Yeah. Well, say, did you hear about what happened between him and Cash? Yes. Yeah, yeah they had an awful rumpus. Yes. Cash uh, throwed his own boy out of the house. His uh, own boy, mind you. What yeah, do you mean? mean you know, what? What do you mean, his own boy? Uh, He's my boy. Uh, well, uh, you, you, well, how could you... Would you would He's you, my boy now. Uh -oh. I've got something to say to you. I've got no use for you, and I've been raised to hate everything that carries your brand. But I've got to tell you that, well, I'm sorry for what I said. I, I didn't know then why you run them cattle off last night. That's mighty nice of you to say that, Miss Mary. You know, you had me a mite uneasy with that uh, Winchester. What have you been talking Dad into? Lots of things. You see, you and your dad will have more money than you'll ever need. You can have all the things you've always wanted. All the things you should have had. Oh, it, it doesn't seem possible anything so wonderful could happen to us. It's always been out there. But I'm glad I was the one that found it for you. Mm -hmm. You know, the desert's taken so much out of dad. Gee, it doesn't seem possible it's about to pay it all back. I'm happier for him even than I am for me. Mary Ellen, 
Look out there across the desert. As far as you can see, way off there in the distance, you see those big lonesome tentacles? When I was a little boy, I used to lie out there evenings watching the shadows cross over them. I used to imagine there were all sorts of things. Dragons fighting, giants lying there sleeping, and great big monsters that might come down after it got dark and get me. I know. I used to think that way, too. You got over it, though. Over it? Why, sure. As soon as I knew what they really was, just big rocks. But before that, you were a little bit afraid of them, weren't you? Yes, I was. Well, it's just that way with folks. Away off in the distance of your mind, there's a terrible man called Cash Holbrook. To you, he's been one of those awful monsters that you used to imagine. But I've been up close to him in the broad daylight. And to me, he's been a kind man and mighty good. I never had anyone make things so sort of clear to me before. Mm. Would you think I was kind of crazy if I asked you to forgive me for the thoughts I've held about you all these years? I can't do that, Mary Ellen. There's nothing to forgive. I hope there will never be. have a very funny habit of wanting their money on time. And they'll get their wish tomorrow. And from then on, those wagons will keep right on rolling. And the mine will pay its way. <laughs> well, I guess I'm all ready, but the wagons are about to start, I guess, huh? <laughs> you're not sorry you're going, though, are you? Of course she ain't. Mary Ellen always wanted to go to school, ain't you, Mary Ellen? Oh, yes, but it's going to seem kind of lonesome being away from all of you. Shucks. Won't be no time for a vacation comes around. <laughs> no, sir. Come on. Say, what's... What's in here, Brent? Why, why is she down there with the folks? What for? Well, why say goodbye to Mary Ellen? I only work here. I got the teams ready. I guess that lets me out. As far as she's concerned. Oh, I know, but doggone it, she's going away. She, she's going to school. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Great idea. Took Bill Holbrook to think that up. Hey, What? That girl in town alone. Oh, she's going to live with old lady Gilroy. She won't be lonesome. And Bill Holbrook will... Have to be getting in town every week or two. Yeah? That'll be great. <laughs> you bet, Twill. No, that, no, no, that. I'll be smacking the daylights out of you. Help 
for that, Carson. I'm going to launch this, this here P-Raid right. I'm going to bust a bottle of the real old corn right on our nose. Come on. And bury me not under the lone prairie where the wild coyotes. Oh, a rat.
Listen. Are you hurt, boy? No, ma'am. But we're shy seven tons over two wagons and quite some mule power, though. Where'd they get to? Who was it? We was kind of busy. We didn't stop to ask. Oh, but don't be squabbling about that. Come on, we want to get Mary Ellen out of here. Come on, fella. Hop on. Let's get out of here. Come on. Well, roll on in, town. I'll be back to the mine and tell Bill. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. What? Why, well, it's Tex. Let's go on here. Let's go on feet. What happened? Easy, boss. Wait a minute. What's the matter, Doyle? Somebody's plugged in. What happened, Tex? Are you hurt bad? Oh, they, they got us at the rim. Are you sure she's all right? Yes, got through. In town by now. Boys, get him into my house, quick. Doyle, get both your chefs out. We're gonna start loading. Brett, I've got to have two wagons and a tank. Get them mules on. Okay. And less than a thousand dollars for the shift that gets their wagon loaded first. Three! Eleven more, Charlie. Eleven more. Seven foot. Break out and purchase. Did you see anything of Cash Holman? Yeah. Passed him. Some of his men. Crossing his North 160. I know it. Cash Holbrook done that. Cash didn't have any more to do with that than I did. Nobody but him would ever have... That's enough, Jeff. You're wrong. We've got to get seven tons of ore into that railroad by morning or the bank will be in the mining business instead of us. And I'm going to drive. He hurt bad, Charlie? Just creased a little, Bill. Oh, he'll be all right. Take it easy, boy. I'm going with you. If Cash Holbrook thinks he can get away with anything like this, I'd... I'd... You're going to stay right here on the job. And I'll tell you something else. I'm going through. Nobody's going to stop me. Do you understand that? Nobody. Santa Fe. Have a drink. Sure, I never refuse. 
Well, all right, in Santa Fe. There we go. A lot of good that's gonna do us. Seven tons of ore on the car and seven more in the bottom of the canyon. Yeah, that old red big and buzzard here. What is his name? It's the bank. It's Stilson. That's him. He won't wait five minutes for his dude. He'd love to get his hooks into that mine. Well, that's pretty near now, I guess. Time enough for another load. If text got through. Say, hey, who do you allow done it? Up in the wagons? Yeah. Well, I'd say it was Cash Holbrook. Don't you think that's a pretty broad statement, young fella? Well, given you a straight answer, Judge, I don't. You talk a whole lot with your mouth, don't you, Steve? He's right. Holbrook wouldn't stop at nothing when it comes to Jack Carmen. Hey, Cash Holbrook just rode in town. Yeah. What's that? It's Bill. It's Bill. Hand up here, Carson. Hey, what's the trouble? Right or not? I'll get over here. Hand him down here, Bill. Take it easy, boy. Did you, did you get any of them? Don't know. I didn't wait to see. Good? Hey, is Mary Ellen all right? You bet. She's resting over at Gilroy. Good. I've got Doc Parker, Bill. Okay, Buck. Uh, did you see who they was? No, they tried to spam Peters into the canyon. That's what they've done to me. Carson, you get that ore over there to the car. Yeah, Santa Fe, go along with him and hurry that bill of lading, will you? Sure thing, Bill. I'll have it here in ten minutes. Coming. You can go in and tell old man Stilson to write paid and full right across that note of mine. Bill! Bill, you're safe! I know you'd try and bring those wagons through, and I... Oh, Bill! The wagons had to come in, honey. And I had to know how you were. Well, I'm all right, but... Well, you'll have to go back there. I won't let you, Bill. I couldn't stand it. Honey? Judge Matthews, do you think you could arrange to marry a couple of people, uh, say, about uh, 4 o'clock this afternoon? If my suspicions is correct as to the parties involved, I should be most honored. Hey, Frosty, will you ride out to mine and get a hold of Jeff? Sure thing, Bill. Buck, how's the chances for the loan of a comb and brush? Huh? A comb and brush. I got a good curry comb over at the barn. <laughs> You know, Cameron, if I'm right, of course, I could be wrong, but if I'm right... Wait till I get these jacks up at the corral, Dynamite. Last and fourth of them. Go ahead, Rand. As I was saying, of course, I can be wrong, but if I'm right, there's somebody taking dynamite out of my powder house. Taking? You mean stealing? Yes, sir. Now, today, I counted out what I had. Then I figured out what ought to have. And there's somebody around here. Hey, by heck, you know, that fits in with something that happened last night. Somebody around here stealing it. Say, look at here, Jeff. You know, 
I didn't sleep very well last night, and I heard something, because I couldn't do it with the bad tooth I got here, see? I did... And if I find out who it is, I'll... What's that? Somebody else shooting? There hadn't better be. Send me in town to find you. What's wrong? Plenty. It's been a slide at the mine. The mill's gone and both shares are filled. There's nothing left. Anybody hurt? No, the first blast warned them. They was all out when she let go. Blast? What do you mean? What happened? The men say it sounded like four explosions in number two drift. On the last one, half the mountain cut loose. Well, I guess we're all through. What do they think happened? They think what half this town thinks. What's that? Cash hold. Do you know cash hold books? No. Well, he 
and Jeff Cameron have been enemies for a good many years. He had a boy that he'd raised. Threw him out of his house. Folks always said that he was mighty fond of that boy. Didn't look much like it when he done that. The boy and Jeff Cameron went partners. Since then, he's hated Cameron worse than ever. He's had more reason to be back of this than any man in the world. Do you think he done it? No. up in the morning. I want my account fixed up so as it can be drawn on right up to the last two-bit piece by my boy, Bill. I'll take rye, bartender. Thanks, Cash. One thing more. Half my share in the mine belongs to you. If that's the way you want it. Can we step into your office a minute, Judge? Indeed. you to arrange something for me, Judge. I'll be glad to. Judge, 
I'm going to water beef tomato. Cameron's will. Don't let nobody tell Bill. It would only rile him. There goes trouble. Where is Bill? Wait out. I'll find him. Wait a minute. Hello, Jeff. Glad you got in all right. First time I've had a chance to ask you about Mary Ellen. How's for your partner being your son-in-law? You ain't my partner. You ain't never gonna be nothing. To me. What do you mean by that, Jeff? One thing I hate to admit to is being mistook in my judgment of a man. I've always told myself you wasn't a Holbrook. But you are. The thing you've just done proved it to me once and forever. The thing I just done. Sold me out to Cash Holbrook. But Jeff, we were all through. Cash offered us help, and I took it. Of course I took it. Why not? You'd side with him again, me, and believe him when he lied it was to help me. Help me. He's been trying to get a hold of my wells ever since we split. Now he's done it, and you helped him. You're wrong, Jeff. Wrong? And him driving his cattle in there tonight? Answer that. Say, how did you hear all this, Jeff? You ain't answered me yet. I said, how did you hear it? Rance Brett happened to be right there. You forgot that. Mary Ellen, you don't believe that I did anything Well, better be getting over to the courthouse, Bob. Most time for the splicing. Might not be any. What's that? Let's have a drink. No thanks. What are you going to do, Jeff? Don't let Mary Ellen out of the house. Cash Holbrook ain't going to water no cattle at Cameron's Wells tonight. No, you're going to Don't get... let Mary Ellen out of the house. I just started out to find you, Bill. Yeah? This fella, Brett. What about him? He just said something that sounded sort of peculiar. What? Well, it wasn't so much what he said as the way he said it. Yeah? I've been waiting for you, Kirby. We're going to water cattle at Jeff Cameron's wells tonight. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell you what I just heard. Jeff's a looking for you. Yes? Yeah, with a 44. Bob, I think you're right about this fellow, Brett. I know I am. Cash Holbrook in the bar? No, he left. Is Brett there? Yeah. Don't 
Don't follow me in there too soon. You wait here. We ain't leaving town just yet. Well, he was in the Silver Dollar a little while ago. Thanks. Now, Mary Ellen, don't you take on about something you ain't got nothing to do with. Open that gate. No, sir, Reed Bob. Jeff said just stay right here. Tony Paul, you open that gate. No, sir. Hello, Cash. Hello, Jim. You looking for Jeff Cameron? Supposing I am. Well, he's headed for the Silver Dollar. Thanks. Something to settle with you. I never thought I'd have to kill a man, but it may be that I will. Brett, you're back of all this trouble, and what you've done may cost the lives of two of the finest men on this earth. Now talk. Out loud, so everybody can hear you. And clear Cash Holbrook. If you lie to me, I'll know it. And Brett, I'll kill you. All right, Holbrook. Here it is. I did everything. Wagons, mine and all. And I'd do it again. If you or any other man come between me and what I want. That enough? Everybody hear that? I think so. Get moving. one of you did that, but you're both bad shots. Give me a hand with the boy, will you, Jeff? You know I will, Cash. We're going to be a little bit late at the courthouse, honey. <laughs> <laughs> 